Hi, welcome back to my page. My name is Gemma Rennick and if you're new around here, I am currently on a January reset with the one-to-one -one diet by Cambridge Weight Plan. I am on step three. This is week two, so if you want to see what I get up to on week two, what I eat, recipes, hints and tips, just general advice on plan. I am a consultant, I've been a consultant now for 11 years and I feel like I know the plan inside out. I wanted to do a reset just to get my Christmas gain off. So this is week two. Keep watching and see what I lose and what I get up to in week two. Good morning. It is Tuesday, so I'm actually on day two of this week and I just didn't get much chance to film yesterday. I'm really sorry. I just didn't get a chance. What am I on, day nine? Yeah, day nine of step three. Going really, really well, I'm 100%. I always am, if I say I'm gonna do something, I'm gonna do it. And I always say to my slimmers, like you've got to have that mentality of, it's just non-negotiable. I know, I think it helps me because I have the pressure of the accountability on here. I think that's why I put myself out there so much to give myself the push that I need. But then saying that, when I did plan back in 2013, I just got on with it, I just did it. And I always say to people, when you're in that moment of wanting to come off plan or cheat or whatever which we all have like everybody has that no one that's successful on plan can say that they haven't struggled like it's that you're always going to have really hard days but in those moments try and think about what your future self would want you to do because I get so many messages oh, I'm so disappointed with myself like I was doing so well why did I do it you have to envisage that in your mind before you come off think about how your future self will feel and how you really don't want to, you know, you don't want to jeopardise your hard work. At the end of the day, they're usually just a craving. They're just a moment in time, like a, cravings are really strong. When they come, they are really strong, but I promise you, they're like a wave. So if you can just ride that wave, give yourself 10 minutes. I tend to try and distract myself for at least 10 minutes. And the way I do that personally is boil the kettle, pour, um, make a pint of water, make a cup of tea and go and sit down. And I think, oh, actually, I don't need it anymore. Like it does go away, I promise you. But again, you won't learn that until you've tried and tested it. And I would say about 10 minutes distraction and thinking about what your future self will, will want you to do is probably two of my top tips really. And in the meantime, you've had a pint of water and a pint of tea. And a pint of tea, I mean, I have got a massive pint mug. It's one of my clients. She knows I love big mugs. <laughs> and I had the Sports Direct one and she, I smashed it. So she sent me this one in the post as a surprise. So I just really need to not smash this one because it's my favorite mug. It holds 500 mils of fluid. I fill it as close to the top as I can with tea and then I just do a dash of skim milk with um, like sweetener drops from my protein. So it's no, hardly any calories, but it's a 500 ml of fluid plus a pint of water. You feel pretty full after that. And I promise you, if you can try that, that's my top tip for this week, how to distract yourself in those moments. And that's my one. I make tea and, <laughs> tea and water. I don't know why. It just comes natural to me now. And that's just what I do in those moments when I really want to eat. So there you go. And yeah, this week I am sticking to step three still, but I'm definitely moving to step four next week. I don't feel like I need to be on step three any longer. Uh, if you've got lots of weight to lose, obviously you want to be on the lower steps longer to get to where you want to be, but I'm pretty much where I want to be. Another couple of pounds and I'll be there. So I want to start moving up to step four next week. But I've got my vanilla latte, as always, for my breakfast. And then my cool start in 20 minutes. Really busy day today and yeah, it's probably just gonna be grab and go again, as usual, but I have got shopping coming tonight, so I've got some more things coming. I've got like a low calorie pizza, and I make like a, a yogurt, a fat-free yogurt garlic and herb dip to go with it, which is really nice. A couple of fish cakes. I've got some packets of veg. I've got some new things to put into wraps. I've got, what else did I get? Oh, things to make. I was gonna make some turkey tacos, and I was gonna make a burger bowl. So I'm gonna get, I've got some lean burgers coming and I'm gonna do like all the toppings and stuff but without the bun and have it on like salad. So yeah, hopefully a bit more variety this week. Oh my God, I'm just between calls and I've had a delivery. I have popped my Hunza G cherry. I've ordered a swimming costume and a bikini. They are called the original crinkle. All the celebs wear them. And I've wanted one for ages. I wanted to treat myself because I've won a trip to Vegas as a consultant for getting Diamond Champion last year. We're going to Vegas in March. All expenses paid, so I thought, you know, I could spend a bit a bit more on the old swimwear, so I'll show you them. Okay, so this is the swimming costume. It's like a really like thick, crinkled material. The colour is stunning. I love lilac. And then I got like a sparkly bronze one, and this is the bikini. It's kind of like, it stretches like round your boobs, basically, and it's just supposed to, it's supposed to be amazing. It's got like a twist in the middle. Oh my God, I can't wait to try these. I so need a tan though. 
<laughs> right calls done for um the morning shift so i'm just going to quickly have my lunch so this is like always a bit oh god there we go um yeah so this is the bit where i have to like rush my lunch so i'll show you what i make i think i'm just gonna have a wrap because it's easy and i've got the little mini wraps which are really low in calories so that's brilliant Oh, this sunshine is amazing. So these are the pop squares that we sell. One to one diet pop squares. They're made out of pea protein and potato. And they're really nice. They're 100 calories per bag. Really good. You can have them on all steps. Step three and above, they, they will need to be included into your calories. So obviously my wrap's 210, I think, from yesterday, I remembered. And these are 100, so 310 for my lunch, which leaves me another 290 to have later, plus my product. But if you're on step 1B, you can have these as an occasional snack on top of your products. They're just there to really help keep you on track. If you're somebody that really struggles and keeps coming off plan, get these because they're really good. We've also got the golden vegetable water flavouring, which is randomly really nice. It's like a hot drink. It's like a soup. And that's completely free on plan. Not free to buy, but free on plan. So on any step, you can just have a big mug of that. It's like having an extra product, but you're getting more water in, which is brilliant. And then we've also got the mixer mousse, so you can use the water flavourings. You can make jelly. If you go and watch some of my step two vlogs, I did loads of that. I did mocktails, jelly sweets, bowls of jelly. I did little cheesecakes, like loads of product hacks and stuff in my old... I just haven't got time to record the content these days. I'm just so bloody busy. But when I did step two after lockdown with James, we did do loads of hacks. So go back and have a look at them. But yeah, hope you're enjoying my vlog so far. Lots of lovely feedback. Thank you so much. Please share with your friends. Please share with people that have done plan before or maybe have reservations about the one-to-one -one diet. My whole point is to show you that actually it's not about just products. You can have food and there are a lot more steps than just step 1A and step 1B. Fingers crossed people start actually listening and I just, I just want to... Oh, that's sort of like smelly thing in the kitchen. It like automatically comes out. <laughs> it almost makes me jump. Um, yeah, I want people's perceptions to change and I want to bust the myths that are out there about the plan because it's not true and yes you if you lose loads of weight on step one and then go back to eating food and not doing it in a controlled way and actually re rebuilding your body's metabolism introducing food slowly you are going to put the weight back on so I get why people say it but it's not actually the plan it's the fact that people are doing plan wrong so if you do plan right you have a lot more chance of maintaining your weight because you're going to build that relationship that healthy relationship with food along the way Anyway, I need to eat so I've only got 15 minutes. Bye. Right, calls are done for the day. I'm just gonna sort the dishwasher out, go and get Beth from school, and then she's got swimming tonight. It's quite a busy night, it always is, and then Finney's at football. So what I'm gonna do is have an early dinner when we get back from the school run. I'm gonna have an omelette tonight because I haven't really got much out, and we've got loads of eggs, so I thought I'm gonna make an omelette. I've got loads of veg and stuff I can chop up to put in there. And then I'll have my bar later on, as always. Have my bar and a cup of tea every night. It's just my routine. Right, I'm just gonna make my omelette and I wanted to mention my top tip when cooking or frying anything, you can just use water and spices. So I put in garlic and herb spice with onions, peppers, mushrooms, and just some water. And every time it dries out, just add a little bit more water. There is absolutely no need for oil. You know, if you're not using olive oil and you're just using cheap sprays and stuff, you can just use water and it doesn't taste any different and it's no calories. Right, I've added the two eggs with a little bit of skim milk and I've got this 50% lighter cheddar cheese. I'm going to use 30 grams. And then I always finish my omelettes under the grill just to cook it through so the bottom doesn't burn. Right, let's give it a go. It actually worked out really well. Came out of the pan perfectly. They are like, they're ninja pans. They are supposed to be like really good non-stick, so. Oh, yeah, it's nice. I put garlic and herbs, spice in there, salt and pepper, peppers, onions, mushrooms. Yeah, it's lovely. May I'm gonna add a bit of brown sauce. A little dollop. Kind of like a yummy breakfast omelet. I love brown sauce. <laughs> I love all sauce. <laughs> but I know now roughly how much sauce and what it looks like. And I'll put it into my fitness pack, it won't be much. Mmm. Mine was 270 calories with the brown sauce. So yeah, only 11 calories for 15 grams of that. Sauces aren't bad, it's just we over, we tend to overdo it on them and 
just eat them willy nilly and not really think about what's in them or how, and obviously they're not the best for you because they, they've normally got sugars and salts and stuff in, but just a little bit on the side, sometimes really nice and it just makes you feel more normal. And I am a saucy gal, so I like to have my salad cream and I use the light so I get a little bit more, but I don't have loads, but I do, I do like sauce. And water's been really good today. I think this is my fifth pint. But as always, I try and drink quite a bit every time I eat, just to make myself a bit more full. Right, hair washed, shopping put away, I've had Sainsbury's delivery, taking Bethany to swim in, oh, absolute ravenous, starting to get a sore throat as well, so I'm worried something's coming. Bethany's got a bit of a cold, made my cup of tea, and I've got my fruit and nut bar, and I'm going to sit down and watch the um, event on by head office. So they're doing like a Zoom tonight with new product launches, they're doing like business updates, hopefully some incentives for us because you know me, I love to win an incentive. So yeah, looking forward to that. So I'm going to watch it and chill out for a bit. We've got it on the big screen tonight. What is it? What are we even watching? So it's basically updates from Mummy's company. They're going to tell us about new products, they're going to tell us business updates. So I can't film it all, but we're going to go on, we're going to watch it and see what they've got to announce. I was bored so I came down. Morning, um, I'm not feeling good today. I've been up most of the night with a really sore throat and I just feel a bit rough and this one's not great either, are you? So, Although she's all right in herself. Yeah, her oh, yeah it's gone all flicky. It's nice, oh, that's nice. Oh, I love that. Um, so yeah, I feel a bit rough, a bit shivery and now really sick, so that's great. I've taken a couple of paracetamol because I've got such a busy day. Literally jam-packed with new video calls, so I am gonna put some makeup on. And then I've got a meeting with head office. I cannot afford to be ill. I haven't got time for it. <laughs> but yeah, let's go to school then, darling, and then I'll start work. Mm -hmm. Say bye to everyone. Bye. Right, while the kettle's boiling, I thought I would give you a little bit of an update on the new products that were launched last night. So we've got a new caramel popcorn bar. If you know me and you've watched my vlogs, I have been putting caramel popcorn beanies coffee into my vanilla latte every day for about seven years. <laughs> caramel popcorn, I love it. And the fact they brought out a bar, I'm like, oh my God, maybe they do watch me. <laughs> so yeah, we've got caramel popcorn bar, limited edition. So yeah, get it quick, try it. I'm, we're getting sent samples, so I'll let you know what I think. And then we've also got the, yeah, the Cocoa Pops type cereals coming back. So we had it before, it was really popular, but it was limited edition and they bought it back and it's basically like chocolate rice crispies and the powder in the packet is like a chocolate milk. So when you add water to it, it sounds weird, but it makes it really milky and lovely. Oh, it's really, really nice. And the crispy bits in there don't go soggy. Like I remember it being really nice. So a lot of my ladies used to have it in like a big mug and just sit and have their like cereal. It just feels like a bit more like normal, normal food. Um, so yeah, two really good new launches, we're really happy. And they also launched loads of like business updates, incentives for us as consultants and stuff. You know me, I love an incentive, so I'll be going for that. But yeah, really good. And I do feel a little bit better now. Still feel quite weak and a bit shaky, but I've put my makeup on, I feel better. And I've taken that par the paracetamol, which has helped. I'm just making my latte now. So this is the caramel popcorn beanies that I've been using for so long. And soon I'll be able to have a caramel bar to go with it. Literally the quickest, easiest, yummiest breakfast ever. I do feel quite sick today though. I also think I'm due on. Well, I know I'm due on in about a week. So it's probably that as well. But I'm not somebody that gets ill. Like I think I've got a really good immune system. Like when things start, they don't tend to get bad. So I'm just hoping with the paracetamol, I'll take it every four hours today to make sure my throat's okay. Fingers crossed I'll be okay. But yeah, busy, busy day. So I'm just gonna set up for my calls and I shall see you later. I'll show you what I have for lunch. I've got loads of new food actually because we had our shopping delivered last night. And I ordered these really low fat burgers and they sent a substitute, full fat, taste the difference. I was like, no, I can't have them. <laughs> They're too high, so I sent them straight back. I thought that was a bit of a non-scale victory because normally I'd be like, mm, well, you know, I'll just have that instead. But I didn't, I sent them back. I'm so sorry, oh God. I've got these on because of the blue light. I'm so sorry, I didn't have a chance to film my quick snack. I had one of the mini wraps with some smoked ham and salad and salad cream. It came out at like less than 200 calories. It was literally a quick snack because I felt starving. I literally had a two minute gap between calls and it's filled the gap, but I still feel quite sick today. I was hoping that would help, but I just feel nauseous, do you know what I mean? Right, I really fancy a little random 
snack. So I'm gonna go for, if I can find it, Philadelphia Lightest Herbs. I don't know if you've tried these, but the barbecue rice crackers are really nice. So one sort of line of these is 111 calories and 30 grams of this to use as a bit of a dip is 26 calories, 137 calories, not bad. Okay, so I put the crackers in there and this is how I measure out on the scale. So you put it on there and put it to zero and then take out what you need or take out however much and it will tell you that's 16 grams. So basically that doubled will be 30 grams. I can't do it one handed, but it's like reverse weighing, but it's so easy to do it like that. Right, it might look really bright and sunny and beautiful, but it's flipping Baltic. So I'm gonna make a cup of tea before the school run. And while my tea is brewing, I've just worked out what I can have for dinner and I can have a lightly dusted cod fillet. So battered fish, basically, with half a tin of mushy peas. And I'm gonna have it with a little salad. I wanted to have it with sweet potato, but that's step four. I haven't got enough calories for that this week, but that is definitely gonna be a meal next week. Sweet potato fries, fish, and mushy peas. Mm, salt and vinegar, lush. I thought I'd just quickly um, pop on and oh. let you all know what You I'm might recognize him. My little bro. Late in the day and I <laughs> just catching up on his stories on Instagram because he is too on a reset. He's doing step two, actually. We had the conversation, I think it was, must have been Boxing Day, and we were both like, yeah, we need to stop eating like this, really, don't we? We need to get back on plan. <laughs> and he was like, yeah, I'm ready. I wanna do it. January's a good time to do it. So he's smashing it. He's just lost half a stone in his first week, and he's got hardly any to lose. So yeah, it just shows it does work, guys. It really does, if you put your mind to it and stick to plan. Mm. Well, that's comfort food, that is. But, so you can still have everything that you want within your calorie allowance, you just gotta track it. Instead of salad, I've gone for the veg. It has taken me about 34, I think 40 calories over, but I'm okay with that. Just taking Bethany to um, gymnastics and I've come across all rough again. <sighs> just really like achy, my neck's really achy, like under my armpits. You know where all like your glands are? Really, really like, tender God, and my throat is sore and it's all like bunged up between my nose and my throat it's weird how it comes on quick like that ache in your neck and the shivers it's like it's worse at night um i'm going to take a couple more paracetamol have a cup of tea and my bar pick her up and then have an early night <laughs> do you know what i feel proper like sorry for myself but if like a domino's pizza cured illness the doctors would prescribe it wouldn't they <laughs> So it's no excuse to come off plan. I'm gonna get the goodness in, have my bar, I've had my water today. Um, I think it's just the painkillers will help, I think. Bit it funny, the first thing we wanna do when we're poorly is just eat loads of shit. And that is not needed because it won't make me feel better. That's my medicine. <laughs> just before I have my cup of tea and bar, I just wanna do a bit of a reflection on this week because I've had so many so many new client calls over the last week or two and i'm just feeling really really grateful yeah i just want to say thank you for choosing me as your consultant but just know there are hundreds thousands of consultants out there and all of us are trained the same like everybody can help we've all been there you know we've all done the plan before if you haven't done the plan before and you don't really know anything about it, go on the website, have a look, search for a consultant. You can have a local consultant or you can have a virtual consultant. You can have face-to-face. -face. People offer all different stuff. I offer virtual only and I help people all over the UK. The majority of my clients come from social media. I'd say about 90% of them. Some come from the website and then others come from referrals, but most of mine do come through because of how often I'm on here. <laughs> I guess people see me every day, but yeah. We're all here to help, so we're all part of an incredible community and we want to help people and yeah, I'm just feeling quite quite grateful today for my job and what it's allowed me to do because I get to work from home. 
around my kids. I've built a really hugely successful business that I never ever thought I'd do. You know, it's better than anything I've ever done in my life and I'm building the foundations for my children's future, for my future, for Jim's future, you know, all of our futures. And I'm just really grateful. So thank you to Debbie for introducing me to this wonderful opportunity. And thank you to all of my clients. Thank you to all of my team. Yeah, without you guys, it wouldn't be possible. So thank you very much. I think I'm due on, <laughs> I feel all emotional. <laughs> Good morning. So it is, what day is it today? What day is it? <laughs> Thursday. Happy Thursday. I haven't been on it yet. I've been quite busy on my calls this morning. I've got loads of new video calls today with new clients, so that's good. But I will show you what I have for lunch. I have my vanilla latte as always for breakfast. And then I think I'm gonna have a wrap, maybe a prawn, prawn salad wrap for lunch maybe. But I'll show you when I finish. Right, I've just finished my calls for the week and as you saw I had the prawn wrap and it was one of those mini wraps and that was 208 calories for the wrap. Had loads of water and three big cups of tea because it was a busy day today. Right, I'm going to have an easy tea tonight. So it's the spinach and ricotta cannelloni from Sainsbury's. 350 calories with microwave veg. Look what came today. The new caramel popcorn bar. It's a limited edition and it's for the 40th year. So the one to one diet have been going for 40 years. And this is a, a new product that I'm gonna try right now. Right, you might see Jim in the background making his dim dinner. Say hi, Jim. Hi, Jim. <laughs> right, let's dip it in the tea. I've heard good reviews today about this, so let's hope it's good. Oh, it's softer than I thought. Oh. Oh, I like it. Oh, I think you'll like that one, Jim. Yeah. Mmm. Oh, it's got popcorn. Like actual bits of popcorn in. And it's quite soft, but a little bit chewy. I'm pudding. No, I'm eating it. Sorry, you're not having the other one. I've got two samples. <laughs> oh my God, that is nice. That's kind of like um, a little bit flat, Jackie. Oh yeah, that is a good one. Oh, it's Friday morning. Oh, we're very tired, <coughs> not feeling very well, and I didn't wash my makeup off last night, which is very unlike me. I know. I'm just so tired. I don't feel very well. <laughs> feeling sorry for myself. I've been so busy this week, and. Yeah, I need a, I need a bit more sleep, I think. <laughs> How are you? Good. You're looking forward to school. She's got swimming at school today. So hopefully she'll be alright. Oh, happy Friday. Right, Beth. Bethany's got Cocoa Pops today. And what's mummy got, Beth? I can have Cocoa Pops too. Why are you having I'll have mine a bit later though, because I haven't got time to eat. I've got to go and get ready. But I will have that, I promise. When you're at school, I'll have my Cocoa Pops. Okay, oh, where's your milk? Um, in the fridge. So Bethany has oat milk, don't you, Beth? Not too much. Perfect. No, that's enough, because you always leave it. All right, enjoy. So today I am gonna have a day of rest. I'm gonna do all my, I'm gonna do the school run and then I'm gonna process all my weigh-ins. I've got 62 on a Friday to process, so I'm gonna do all that. I can see them all coming in. When I get back, I'll make my breakfast and do that. Keep my water up, actually. I haven't had my whole pint yet. So I'll try and have a pint in the morning before the school run. I've had my tea. I just feel rough and I've got a busy weekend, so you know when you just need to listen to your body and I don't wanna, it's been so busy, I can't even tell you how busy it is. Which I, I, I'm not complaining, it is amazing. I've had to just um, cap my numbers, which I hate doing, but I can't take on too many because I want to still give a good service. So luckily I've got an incredible team that I've been passing inquiries to. And thank you if any of you are watching and um, you know I really appreciate you being flexible. And I promise you, you're in safe hands, you know. Yes, they might have less clients, but actually they've got more time to to support you how we want to support you. We do take massive pride in how we support our slimmers and the service we give. So 
just got to be careful not to overdo it. <laughs> I shall see you soon. I don't know if I'll be back on today. I will because I'll show you what I eat and I'm basically forcing myself to still eat. I'm not hungry actually but I'm forcing myself to still eat and show you. So that dinner last night, that quick dinner was just a bit of comfort food and actually it, it was really good. But I did feel a little bit sick afterwards. I just keep feeling quite sicky. So poorly and you are mixed together. It's just a bit rubbish but it is no excuse to come off so I'm going to keep going. It's a product that we had before that was actually really popular but it was limited edition and they brought it back for us. So you don't mix it with milk. I think that's the bit that most people are surprised with. But if you think about it, it's got basically a chocolate shake in it. So that is, that's got milk in. So pop it into your bowl and you have to add 160 mils of cold water. So I don't know if you can see that. You can see the crispy bits in there. So they're like Rice Krispies. So 160 mils, ice cold water from the fridge because I want it to be really nice like cold milk. Don't want it lukewarm. Oh, dead on, 160. Stir well. Right, so here it is. So the milk's very chocolatey. Lots of crispy bits. I think that's nearly dissolved. I think that's all done. Actually looks quite nice. I'm quite excited now. Give it a go. Mm. <laughs> They're actually really good. I remember them from before. I didn't have them very much, I don't know why, but people went crazy for them. It's actually really good. That's like a proper chocolatey milk. And the crispy bits are really crispy. Oh, I really like that. I'm gonna devour it. <laughs> mm. I'm just uploading all my stuff to my vlog so I can start editing it because I don't wanna I don't wanna work this weekend. So I wanna spend time with the kids. So I'm gonna try and do it now. So I haven't been on here because I was uploading the photos. I couldn't use my camera. But for lunch I had the prawn cocktail mini wrap with lettuce, exactly the same as yesterday. It's so quick and easy. I've got my second pint of water. I'm a little bit behind actually with the water, but including the tea, that's two litres. Um, and then for dinner tonight, I don't know what I'm gonna have. It's gonna be a chuck together thing. As always, but I'll come back and show you. Right, for dinner, I've got turkey mince, which is the 2% fat one. And I've put in some water and fajita spice, garlic granules, salt and pepper. Cook that off without any oil. I'm gonna have it in, well, I'm gonna have half of it in two of these with some salad. And there you have it, two turkey tacos with barbecue sauce and a little salad on the side. Right, it's now the weekend, it's Saturday, I'm just about to take Bethany to gymnastics, there she is. What? I just told you I don't know where it is. And ask Daddy. Like, yeah, ask Daddy, she can't find a water ball. So we're going to go to gymnastics this morning. And then my friend's coming over to do some filming of me, she's doing a piece at college about um, my business basically so she's gonna do a bit of an interview i've not got any other plans today actually but it's finley's birthday weekend so tomorrow he's requested to go to casper's for lots of yummy oh well done puddings and stuff so i have to obviously resist that and then we're going to see wonka finally at the cinema well i've got the battered fish again with veg and mushy peas just using up the other half Jim's making all his lunches. People always say, why are you not cooking for your husband? <laughs> so me and Jim do eat separately. Jim has a strict training plan when he's on it and when he's not, he's not. But he's being good this week. So he's making all of his, he's prepping all his lunches for the week. And he's been to Aldi, look. Right, so it's that time of the week again. The weekends make up for lack of steps because I have been sat down most of today after my walk this morning. I took Bethany to gymnastics, so I did do the school run like I normally would twice, but I'm only on 8,000. So I thought I'd come in and do a couple of thousand steps on here. I've just eaten my dinner and it helps digest, you know, all of that jazz. I've come on today as well. 
it normally gets worse after the first couple of days so I know probably Monday is not going to be great it might affect the weigh-in it might not I'm not bothered but I will let you know my results as always I've stuck to step three again 100% I'm very happy with that and tonight we're going to have a movie night and I'm going to have my bar I've had both the caramel popcorn bars now that I had as samples and they were amazing so I'll go back to my fruit and nut oh, or I've got some birthday cake bars actually so I might have them right we're just sitting down to watch this film and I'm going to have a birthday cake bar tonight with my cup of tea so Finley's got his cup of tea where's your tea? over there and what film are we watching? Pokemon. You alright over there, Beth? But well, actually, I yeah, think it's going to Okay, no night, darling. Wow. Mm. We've come to bed at 8 o'clock to watch TV. <laughs> so I don't eat, but Jim's got a massive tub of ice cream. Is it the low fat one, though? Yes. Oh, I've just put my braces in to stop me eating. And I've just brushed my teeth. So we're gonna watch our program. The kids are chilling. Saturday nights are hard. Good morning. It's Sunday and I've just got ready. Finney's out of football. Me and Beth are gonna go and get Finney's birthday presents this morning because it's his birthday on Tuesday. And we're going to the cinema. I'm gonna try and have lunch before I go and then I might take maybe my bar to have that. Oh no, maybe I just won't actually. Maybe I'll just have like a Diet Coke or a coffee or something. I can do it, I can do it. Yeah, I can, I can, and I'm gonna vlog it to show you. Hopefully another good day. Step three's going fine, but I do wanna do step four now. <laughs> I'm bored, so we're doing step four from Monday. Um, tomorrow is way day. Right, me and Beth are off to get Finney's presents. She's just requested this lovely song by Olivia Rodrigo. Are you gonna sing it? No, not on camera. <laughs> She's really good. Turn it off. <laughs> Bye. Okay, not a good start. Bethany can't have anything vegan apparently in here which is pretty rubbish. When we go to Queen's, they do vegan, don't they? No, but Casper's is better. Apparently Casper's is better, but it's not better because they don't do dairy free. But for me, it is. But for Finley, it's better. He's happy for his birthday, so Jim's taken her to Starbucks to try and get her something nice for the cinema. I am staying strong. Right, Finley, what have you ordered? It's like this, um, like full Biscoff cookie dough thing. Oh. I had it last time with my uncle James. It was literally the best. OMG, look at that. Go on then, go for it. Is it hot? <laughs> How is it? Really good. That is insane. Look at it, Biscoff Central. Wow. Enjoy, darling. Right, I've made the turkey tacos again. They're lovely, but they're really hard to eat. <laughs> Yeah, so I literally got home and devoured that because I was ravenous. It was so hard <laughs> sticking to plan in the cinema, but I'd done it. Um, I didn't even have a drink when we were in there. So yeah, I got home, I was very thirsty, very, very hungry. And obviously the kids had all their snacks. I did have a packet of pop squares. I took, um, took those turkey pop squares with me. But I think it's just, the, it's just the habit of having something in those moments and those, those sorts of places. But yeah, didn't, and the film was really good. So all in all, very successful day. I've got one product left that I'm gonna have later, and we're gonna watch Gladiators, because that started last night. So we're gonna watch that on repeat tonight. And then I will weigh in the morning, and I will let you know. Good morning, happy Monday. I've just got back from the school, and I didn't get a chance to update you before, but I lost another pound on step three. So in two weeks, that is nine and a half pounds, which I'm really, really happy with. So many people can get disheartened with like a smaller loss on week two or week three. It's very common and normal. You kind of have to look at it as an overall nine and a half pounds off since feeling bloated after New Year, I'm really, really happy with. And I've basically got my gain off in two weeks. So I'm really, really happy. Moving up to step four today. I am on my time of the month today really quite bad and it's quite painful so that could have affected the scales as well i don't know but i shall see you next week for another vlog on step four thank you so much for watching and bye for now